you talk a little bit about the APOE4 gene, what that means to people, and, and what your experience was? Sure. Well, James Watson, when he got his genome, said he wanted to learn everything about it except for one thing. There's a gene which gives you a feeling for your risk for Alzheimer's disease. If you have one copy of it, you're at about three times the risk of getting Alzheimer's disease. If you have two copies of it, you're at about 10 or 15 times the risk. So that's a substantial risk marker. And Alzheimer's disease is common, so it really means something in the world. So as a paradigm for this whole issue, we took the issue of disclosing APOE for Alzheimer's disease to people and to ask the question, is it going to terrify them? Are they going to get a cat catastrophic reaction? And what are they going to do with the information? And just to sort of encapsulate 10 years of research and three now going on four randomized clinical trials into a couple of sentences. You could be on television <laughs> if you could do that. Are you offering me a job, Richard? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, is, is that they, in, in the situation that we used, which was controlled, screening people for distress beforehand, counseling them after if they wanted, no one had a catastrophic reaction. Number two, there were surprises. They changed some of their behavior. They took, they took vitamins. They did more exercise. Number three, they actually bought more long-term care insurance. This was the first study to show that people with a genetic marker would actually change their insurance purchasing habits. And number four, there's a self-protection uh, mechanism. So we, we just finished a paper called, I know what you told me, but this is what I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out that even though they walked into our medical center and we said with all authority, well, this is your risk, people sort of said, you know what? I think I know what my risk is. And so they just, there was almost an anchoring effect and they didn't change that much. So we've discovered a lot of things about uh, what it means to receive genetic results that I hope will become applicable from one gene really to all of them. Francis, is, is the Alzheimer's situation something that we can learn lessons for in terms of other, other discoveries that are out there? Oh, I think so. I think it is, and Bob's work has really laid out uh, in the real world how this can be received in a way we, we can learn a lot from. As, as we talked about, as we get better and better at identifying the hereditary contributions to long lists of diseases so that they're as good at making predictions as we are now for Alzheimer's, that whole question is going to get raised. And if you're thinking about would you want the test or not, it seems to me there are three things that you're going to want to know about that test. Is what kind of risk is it able to provide you with? Well, we talked about one, well, you know, here's a test that can tell you your risk is elevated by 40%, but if it was 1% to begin with, yeah. But if, on the other hand, it's Alzheimer's disease, which we know is common, and it might elevate your risk by 15-fold, well, that's a big one that you might want to pay attention to. So that's one factor. How much risk can this test actually provide you? Second, what's the burden of the disease? If it's cancer, well, you're probably pretty interested in knowing about that, because we do have a sense that cancer is a bad disease, and there are often things you can do about it if you're at high risk. But if it's, you know, wet earwax, uh, you can test for that, by the way. Uh, not maybe quite as driven to get that information. And then the third factor is, is there an intervention? Alzheimer's? No. So maybe even though the risk is high and the burden is high, mm, the intervention's not there. You might multiply those things together and still get, oh, I don't want to go there. But if it's BRCA1, and the risk could be very high because you've got a strong family history, the <coughs> burden is very high, and the intervention could be life-saving, then your interest goes up.